Hey guys. I believe you all are fine and running smooth. First of all I want to welcome new viewers. You are highly welcome. Today, I'm bringing amazing facts and secrets about the popular Facebook. Let's briefly talk about the history of Facebook. Before we begin, I want you to hit the subscribe button below to you won't miss my next upload which I believe you would love. Now let's go. Facebook Incorporated is an American social media and technology company based in Menlo Park, California. It was founded by Mark Zuckerberg, along with fellow Harvard College students and roommates Eduardo Saverin, Andrew McCullum, Dustin Moskovitz and Chris Hughes, originally as the Facebook.com, today's Facebook, a popular global social networking website. Facebook is one of the world's most valuable companies. It is considered one of the big five technology companies along with Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, and Google. Facebook offers other products and services beyond its social networking platform, including Facebook Messenger, Facebook Watch, and Facebook Portal. It also has acquired Instagram, WhatsApp, and Oculus, and has a 9.9% .9 stake in Jio. Facebook filed for an initial public offering, IPO on February 1, 2012. The preliminary prospectus stated that the company was seeking to raise $5 billion. The document announced that the company had 845 million active monthly users and its website featured 2.7 billion daily likes and comments. After the IPO, Zuckerberg would retain a 22% ownership share in Facebook and would own 57% of the voting shares. Underwriters valued the shares at $38 each, pricing the company at $104 billion, the largest valuation to date for a newly public company. On May 16, one day before the IPO, Facebook announced that it would sell 25% more shares than originally planned due to high demand. The IPO raised $16 billion, making it the third largest in U.S. history just ahead of AT&T Wireless and behind only General Motors and Visa. The stock price left the company with a higher market capitalization than all but a few U.S. corporations, surpassing heavyweights such as Amazon, McDonald's, Disney, and Kraft Foods, and made Zuckerberg's stock worth $19 billion. The New York Times stated that the offering overcame questions about Facebook's difficulties in attracting advertisers to transform the company into a must-own stock. Jimmy Lee of J.P. Morgan Chase described it as the next great blue chip. Writers at TechCrunch, on the other hand, expressed skepticism, stating, that's a big multiple to live up to, and, Facebook, will likely need to add bold new revenue streams to justify the mammoth valuation. Trading in the stock, which began on May 18, was delayed that day due to technical problems with the Nasdaq exchange. The stock struggled to stay above the IPO price for most of the day, forcing underwriters to buy back shares to support the price. At closing bell, shares were valued at $38.23, only $0.23 cents above the IPO price and down $3.82 from the opening bell value. The opening was widely described by the financial press as a disappointment. The stock nonetheless set a new record for trading volume of an IPO. On May 25, 2012, the stock ended its first full week of trading at $31.91, a 16.5% decline. Thinking about revenue? Here is a breakdown. Revenue 70.697 billion US dollars in 2019. Operating income 23.986 billion US dollars in 2019. Net income 18.485 billion US dollars in 2019. Total assets 133.376 billion US dollars in 2019. Total equity. 101.054 billion US dollars in 2019. Number of employees 44,942 as at December 31, 2019. Let's leave the stories and get down to the amazing facts. Fact number one. The average Facebook user has 130 friends. Crazy right? How many Facebook friends do you have? To put your friend count in perspective, 
the average user has 130. Facebook's official stats page is full of little gems like this, and more staggering stats, such as the fact that people spend over 500 billion minutes per month on Facebook, while the current active official user count now stands at over 500 million. Have you ever imagined that? As far as Facebook the platform goes, over a million websites have integrated with Facebook, and more than 150 million people engage with Facebook on external websites every month. Fact number 2. Mark Zuckerberg calls himself a Harvard graduate. More crazy? As you can see for yourself over at Facebook.com web link, the personalized URL Zuckerberg nabbed for himself, Mark Zuckerberg tells a little fib on his profile page. He lists himself as a Harvard graduate, which simply isn't true, as he dropped out to concentrate on getting Facebook up and running. Someone is a huge fan of Harvard. When 60 Minutes reporter Leslie Stahl confronted Zuckerberg with this little inconsistency, he said that's true. We don't have a setting for dropout. Uh, memo to Zuck, you kind of have the power to make that happen. Fact number 3. The meaning of the term poke has never been defined. While Facebook explains how poking works on its help center, there's no explanation to be found for the origin of the phrase. The most common definition is a friendly nudge, but the more flirtatious connotations cannot be ignored. I also thought about that you know. David Gertpatrick reveals in the Facebook effect that Zuckerberg once responded to a question about what a poke meant on the social networking site with, we thought it would be fun to make a feature that has no specific purpose. So mess around with it, because you're not getting an explanation from us. Fact number 4. A Facebook employee hoodie sold for $4,000 on eBay. If Facebook merchandise is collectible now, imagine what it will be worth in years to come. A Facebook employee standard issue hoodie recently sold on eBay for a whopping $4,050 with nearly 50 bidders battling it out to win the auction. Nice deal man. The fact that Mark Zuckerberg had just been seen sporting the same garment at the D8 conference and revealed its mysterious insignia to the world certainly helped up the bids, but considering the one that sold had not touched Zuckerberg's skin, it's an astonishing amount. Last but not the least. Fact number 5. Al Pacino's face was on the original Facebook homepage. Prior to a major homepage redesign back in 2007, Facebook's front page used to feature a man's face partly obscured behind a cloud of binary code. Dubbed the Facebook guy, it was not known who the mystery man was, until recently. David Gertpatrick has revealed in his book The Facebook Effect that the image is a manipulated photo of Al Pacino created by a friend and classmate of Mark Zuckerberg. Dot. That'll be all for today guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to get more amazing facts.